Hello friends, do you know that I made this cool animation with just using two slides? It's because of the morph transition. So buckle up and let me show you how I did it. On this tutorial you will learn how to crop images the right way, how to use morph transition, and finally how to find an outstanding visuals for your presentation. So the first thing I did, I prepared the images that I used on this presentation. I will show you how I got them at the last part of this tutorial. So now I will insert a text or a title like that. Increase its size and change its font to Pensheng, I think. Yeah, it's a cool font. So this is the easy part. So let's move on to the design of this slide. First, I will pick this picture of this surfboard, scale it a little bit like that and center it in the center X of the slide like that. Next thing, I will insert a circle of this size. I will send it to back like that and I will cut it into two halves. I will show you how I did it. First I insert a rectangle, cover the half of the circle like that, hit shift, select the circle, then the rectangle, go to mirror shape and intersect. Now you need to duplicate the half of the circle like that, holding Ctrl D. Then you have to mirror it like that and send it to back. Now you have two halves of a circle, which means one circle. <laughs> yeah. So this is the part where I will crop the pictures as a half circle. So I will show you how to do it. First thing I have mistaken here, I need to select first the picture, then the half circle that's why it doesn't work now i will select first the picture then the half of circle and go to merge then intersect now it works like a charm i will adjust it a little bit like that nice so i will do the same process with the second half of the circle First, select the circle, then hold shift and select the half of circle, go to merge shape and intersect. Voila! Now let's duplicate this slide, then repeat the same process with the second slide. So I will delete those three, those bad boys, and change this summer to winter. After the editing, I realized that I was right at spelling winter, but I choose to do it wrong. <laughs> so don't mind me, please. Anyway, I replaced the surfboard by a snowboard, like that, which is at the same position as the surfboard, repeating the same process, which is adding a circle. It must be the same size as the circle on slide 1, so I copy it as the first slide. It needs to be exactly the same. So I'm trying to make it perfectly identical, like that. I like precision guys, so... Don't mind it too. Yeah, so we have our perfect circle. Now we need to slice it into two pieces. Nope, not this time. Yeah. Insert in a rectangle. Slice this pizza. Ah, sorry. Circle. It's actually the same process. Duplicate this half and move it to right or left, sorry. 
then mirror it at the same way I did on the first slide and send it to back like that now crop the picture uh, the same halves so you know the process mirror shape and resect and remember to select first the picture if you don't you will get nothing Yeah, we did it. Thank God we finished this part. So, now we need to cut those shapes or those pictures in half. Oh, this is how to do it. Insert a rectangle like that, then duplicate it two times by holding Ctrl D. Make them at the same position, like that. I will use alignments, select them all, go to align and align it from the two axes nice now select first the picture then the rectangle and go to merge shape like that and hit subtract not intersect this time but subtract now we have half of everything nice we see a little bit of space under the picture. We move it to down a little bit. Nice. So let's do the same process with the first slide. So here is the most important part about this tutorial. So select all these pictures and group them by holding Ctrl G. Then go to the second slide, do the same thing, select them all, then hit Ctrl G to group them. Now copy this group to the first slide like that. Rotate it like that. Then move it exactly as the bottom of the first group select them all then hit ctrl g to group them all copy the new group to the second slide now delete this one you don't need it like that and rotate it this way i will show you the first preview of this animation go to transition morph and here is the first preview Let's decrease the timing a little bit and voila. I know you are wondering where I did get this cool visual or cool picture. So I get them from Freepik. This is the website. This is the first one. Let's download the PSD format which opens in Photoshop. So now we have all the visuals or the cropped pictures that we need. The process to get these pictures is too easy. Copy one of them by holding Ctrl C, then hit Ctrl N to open a new file like that. And copy it with Ctrl V, remove the white background like that. Go to export and export it in PNG format. Do the same thing with the other pictures and you will get those visuals. About these vectors or the drawings, you can get them by using Illustrator. So after downloading the file from Freepik as well, go to Illustrator or open them on Illustrator like that. Double click on this item. Now hit just Ctrl C, 
then go to powerpoint and hit ctrl v it will copy exactly the same oh now you know last step is remaining which is getting the most advantage of the morph transition now let's copy the pictures or the cool visuals to the first slide or let's select them by holding shift and select every one of them hit ctrl c copy them to the first slide and drag them off the frame like that let's do the same thing with the results of the first slide ctrl c then ctrl v drag them out of frame like that a quick note here let's send them to back because the visuals of the second slide is on the top on the first slide so to avoid the lagging let's send them to back change this color of the title sorry i forget it then everything is all right so this is it guys now you know how to do this cool animation with just using two slides so please don't forget to subscribe and like this tutorial this helps me a lot because i'm putting too much effort on doing them if you want the presentation you can download it from my gumroad link in description with much more presentations ciao